that they did not reach a promised land. They perished in the wilderness. They did not reach where they should go. We are trained here for that great convention day. I did say two minutes. I am going to close. But let me tell you something. As we attend this convention, as we bask in the Holy Spirit, let us take a look at ourselves. Are we living a life to soothe ourselves? Are we men pleasers? Are we pleasing our friends? Or are we pleasing Jesus Christ? We need to ask ourselves, be serious with them. Are we pleasing our friends? You see, another thing, Apostle. You see baptism? Baptism is a serious commodity. Very serious. You have to be ready for baptism. You have to repent before you baptize. Too many times we baptize and then we repent. And sometimes we don't even repent. Sometimes we baptize just to follow fashion. No, 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 no. So we can right now. But baptism is serious. You see, Paul plant upon us water. But the increase must come from God. We praise God. Let me just say one verse from the lesson. If you notice, the sixth verse is saying, When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been no a long time in that case, he said unto him, Will thou be made whole? Tonight Jesus Christ is asking someone, Will thou be made whole? Oh Jesus. It doesn't make sense. We rise up early and set up late. And if we hear the part, that's the sad part of it, you know. The part for me, I know you're not. You see, there is a great day coming. There is a sad day coming. There is a happy day coming. When every knee shall go. We praise God. Too so many times we are wolf in sheep clothing. I didn't say you. I said we. Many times we are wolf in sheep clothing. Many times. Listen, listen. Is that is that because we can preach? Is that because we can exhort? Is that because we don't want to testify? It's a life. The life. Praise God. We can be testifying and living dirty life. We can talk and we not live. We can show and we not live. We praise God. We might stone me tonight, but listen, I am preaching as the Spirit gave utterance. We must search ourselves. Sometimes Jesus Christ is calling us, is warning us. And many times when the Holy Spirit is chastising us, we say, oh dear. So then I hope you I live with the getting of his skin. We praise God. Hallelujah. Take your hands and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. If you want to worship back. Maybe we read it. Me and I worship. Me one. Yeah, 
to leave. I don't know if it's the end of the convention. But let the, the team still ring in our heart. Continue to read the chapter. And study the chapter. Fail to launch. Search for your life now. Let me not say you. Search our life now. Which part of your life fail to launch? What is causing the failure? Which one of the boards will get rusty? Where is the blockage? Yes. Oh, Jesus. If your line is grounded and connection is sure, then you're all right. But if the line is cheap, if the telephone line is cheap, that means Satan crossed the wire by some strong delusion or some lost desire. Take away obstruction. Jesus is on the line. Telephone to glory. He always answered. Just in time, his credit never run out. He's never busy. Same child never young people. Turn your eyes on to Jesus. No more in his wonderful face. And the things of the world will go strangely dim while the light of his glory shine in. One more verse. Jesus said, will thou be made whole? The person is asking to someone, will thou be made whole? Are you sure? Be very sure that you're on the hold and bring this solid rock. Are you sure tonight? As I am talking in my feeble voice, are we sure tonight? Be very sure. Judgment is surely coming. Coming for you and me is going to be an awful picture. Abiding with the demons. Think about these things. Souls crushed with deepest sorrow, waiting to sanctify. Tonight, as I am closing, ask yourself the question: Will we, will we be in the number when the saints go marching in? Are we ready to go home? Are we ready to go home? Are we ready to go home? Yeah. <laughs> 